So lazy eye is a condition in which uh, the vision in one or both the eyes fails to develop during early childhood. Visual system in an early childhood is immature. The child starts seeing things, explores the world, sends clear image from the eyeball to the brain and then it results in formation of vital connections between the eye and the brain. This results in the formation of good vision in childhood. Lazy eye develops when this connection between the eyeball and the brain fails to form and this can happen if the child has a significant refractive error. If the child has a significant refractive error in one of the eye, that particular eye will send blur image to the brain. So when you have a blur image coming from one eye and a clear image going from the other eye, the brain will try to suppress the image that is coming from the eye having significant refractive error and will only accept the vision coming from the dominant eye which is the normal eye. So the eye with the refractive error will become lazy eye and the connections are very poor between the eye and the brain. The other reasons that can lead to lazy eye is squinting of eyes. If the eye is squinted or if the eye is deviated inwards or outwards, what happens the image again from the squinting eye is of poor quality and the brain again suppresses that image coming from the squinting eye. Again the connections between that eye and the brain fails to develop. Lazy eye can happen because of various other reasons as well like significant uh, opacities of the front portion of the eyeball which is the cornea or if the child has any retinal or optic nerve issues or any problem from the optic nerve to the brain can cause lazy eye. In all these cases the brain is receiving a blurred image resulting in poor connection between the eyeball and the brain causing lazy eye. Lazy eye can happen in both the eyes or one eye. When lazy eye happens in only one eye, it is a tricky situation because in these cases the child will not be able to inform the parent that he or she has any vision problem because with the left eye or the other eye which is normal, the child will be able to see everything and this leads to a late identification of lazy eye. So when it is identified at a later stage, it, is, it becomes difficult to treat the lazy eye and the treatment may be prolonged. So it is very important to identify lazy eye at an early age so that early treatment can be initiated to rectify it. So lazy eye can be treated first by identifying a significant refractive error in one of the eyes and giving proper glasses and the child will be called on a frequent follow-up to look for any improvement in the vision and the next step will be uh, patching exercises wherein we patch the dominant eye and force the lazy eye to be used more by the brain that results in formation of vital connection between that eye and the brain. And lastly, we have certain computer-based exercises that give excellent outcome in treatment of lazy eye.